Geeky science. I wanted to, I, 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 I told you when I opened the show that I had a fascinating conversation with a, a, a PhD guy who knew all about, you know, how our bodies work and fast. It was just fascinating stuff. And uh, I was hoping he could drop by. He's on his way to the airport. Uh, we recorded a commercial this morning earlier, which is where Nathan Bryan, Nathan, Nathan Bryan is with us, Dr. Nathan Bryan. Um, who is a principal or owner or whatever of Neogenesis Labs. Yes. Or what's your title? Yeah, I'm a Big founder cheese. and chief science officer. Okay, founder and chief science officer. And um, uh, Neogenesis Labs, just, uh, uh, first of all, I had to do this disclosure thing because this is just like, this is required by law. Um, and plus, it's the right thing to do. Uh, Neo, Neo, Neogenesis Labs advertises on my program, on the commercial side of our radio program, and uh, they make a product called Super Beats, which... Jim, I am holding it in my hand, and and also a problem a product called Neo Forty Daily, and I don't want this to be an infomercial. Uh, I just wanted you to know that I had the the yeah, and this is not a paid ad or endorsement or anything. I, I we had this fascinating conversation this morning, sure. and but just in in summary, with the super beats, the super beats thing is that beats are like the strongest or the most. Uh, easily readily available source of nitrates for your body right correct yeah, okay and and the reason why that matters to us is what well nitrates are used to make nitric oxide in the human body and nitric oxide is one of the most important molecules produced in the body of humans in fact all mammals yeah. it's responsible for maintaining normal blood pressure uh improving circulation throughout the body fusing the brain the heart uh, the sex organs and so as we age, we lose the ability to make nitric oxide, and that's what causes age-related disease. So 15 years of my research, we focus strictly on what goes wrong in people that can't make nitric oxide, and perhaps most importantly, how do you fix that? Yeah. And we fix that through the Super Beats and the Neo 40 product because Super Beats contains dietary nitrates that are converted to nitric oxide. In the yeah, body. and this is where it gets fascinating, and this is this is the part that I, you know, I one of the, one of the science stories that I've been... It's been sitting on my desk all week. I haven't gotten to it yet. Is the headline is "Gut Microbes Signal When Dinner Is Done," and it's about how after 20 minutes, if you have the right digestive bacteria in your gut, those little animals in there, those little bacteria, I guess they're not in the animal kingdom, uh, those bacteria will send out signals to your body to say, "Done eating. Stop eating." And this is part of this whole brand new evolving field of of the microbiome, the 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 life within us that we used to think was disease and we tried to kill all these bugs. Right. And we were talking this morning about biofilms in our mouth. How do you get, cause beets, it's not nitric oxide in the beets. It's a nitrate in the beets. How does it get turned into nitric oxide in our bodies? Well, nitric oxide is a gas. It has a half life of less than one second. So what we have to do is give the body the substrates and nutrients it needs so it can make its own nitric oxide. One of the path, one pathway to do that is through nitrates and humans don't have an enzyme that, converts nitrate into nitric oxide. These are bacterial enzymes. And so if we have the right bacteria, when we eat beets or celery or uh, lettuce, kale, spinach, a lot of the green leafy vegetables that we've known for decades that are extremely good for us. And high in nitrates. And high in nitrates, right. then the bacteria that live in and on our mouth and on our body convert that or metabolize nitrate into nitric oxide. Yeah. So the interesting thing is, that we need these bacteria. So people who use antiseptic mouthwash, people who overuse antibiotics and try to get rid of all bacteria are doing themselves a disservice. In fact, they become nitric oxide deficient. And when you become deficient in nitric oxide, you're more prone to uh, cardiovascular disease, the number one killer of men and women worldwide. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's amazing. I was telling you about a friend of mine who's a dentist who's like saying, you know, don't use alcohol-based mouthwashes or any kind of mouthwash that's bacteriostatic because the bacteria in your mouth, I mean, there's one, the strep mutants that, you know, causes cavities, but there's a whole bunch of other ones in there. And it turns out they're actually providing us with the nitric oxide. The bacteria are, if they have the right raw material, but they have to have the raw material. And that's why you have to chew your food right. Correct. <laughs> and that's why, and that's, and, and I'm, I'm guessing that's why when you made the Neo 40 that you made it as lozenges that you could dissolve in your mouth so that they would come into contact with the bacteria in your mouth? Well, the, the lozenge overcomes the bacteria problem. And so we're finding that as much as 30 to 40 percent of the general population may not have the right bacteria to convert nitrate and nitric oxide. Mm -hmm. Now in the lozenge, we do it for you. So the patented nit natural product chemistry that I discovered and what really what we started the company on is this orally disintegrating tablet that when you put in your mouth, it's activated by your saliva, and it generates authentic nitric oxide gas. 
In fact, it's the only technology in the world that generates authentic nitric oxide gas. Right. And this it's, is and, and, and what the, the, the core thing that nitric oxide does is maintain the flexibility of your arteries, of your vascular system. Of your well, it maintains the integrity of the cardiovascular system. It prevents plaque from sticking to the lining of the arteries. It makes uh, the blood vessels dilate so you can get a reduction in blood pressure. Uh, you can perfuse, improve circulation throughout the entire human body, not just to the heart and to the brain, but to the skeletal muscles when you exercise. So you really see an improvement in all aspects of performance, whether it's athletic performance, performance in the boardroom, mental acuity, or even performance in the bedroom. Right. Yeah. And the performance in the bedroom has become a multi-billion dollar industry. And those guys are, you know, and, oh, you know, half of all men over 40 have erectile dysfunction. It may just be blood flow. What, what are they talking about? Well, They're it talk- is blood flow. So in yeah. the erectile dysfunction is a lack of nitric oxide production. Huh. And so it manifests itself first in the sex organs. But the same blood vessels that feed the sex organs are also the same blood vessels that feed the heart, the brain, other parts of the body. So if those vessels are diseased and can't make nitric oxide, then other vascular beds are becoming nitric oxide deficient. Right. So it's more than just a socially inconvenient problem, but it's really a symptom of a more serious underlying condition that makes you prone to cardiovascular disease, and that's a loss of nitric oxide. Right, so so a loss of sexual function is actually a, a, a warning sign. Well, it's what we call the canary in the coal mine. So yeah. it's the first indication that you have a nitric oxide and blood flow problem. What about cramps in your legs and feet and things like that? That's fairly common among people over 40, 50. Well, again, is it's that, a... Is that also the same thing? A, a lot of it can be due to loss of electrolytes, but also it's a blood flow problem. So when you have cramps or any pain, it's really what we call ischemic pain or lack of blood flow. You're not getting sufficient oxygen. So the cramps are the muscles squeezing, saying, yeah, come on, a, come on, just, arteries, give me more blood. I need it now. That's right. And to do that, you have to make nitric oxide. Right, right. And and which takes us back to, A, good food sources. I mean, you you sell one, but you can also, theoretically, if you're, if you're eating good food that comes from, you know, good organic gardens where people are rotating their crops and there's actually the, the nitrate nutrients in there. Sure. So... Chew your food. Don't wipe out the bacteria in your mouth. And, and, and in our guts, too? Yeah, there's lots to learn from this. You know, when we eat, you know, it's, it's quite simple. You know, if you eat the right, the right foods with the right nutrients and get moderate physical exercise, right. you can combat the signs of, of aging. The problem is the foods we eat aren't replete in a lot of the nutrients that we need, so we become nutrient deficient. In fact, right. I would argue that people in the U.S. and Western society are nitrate deficient because we don't eat enough green leafy vegetables. And so then we become nitric oxide deficient. That's the reason we have an epidemic of uh, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, uh, even Alzheimer's and vascular dementia. All of these things are associated with a loss of nitric oxide. Is that why the, the, the vegans and vegetarians that I've known for, you know, who, who have been the, eating that way for more than a decade anyway, tend to be healthier? And, and you look at the studies out of like Loma Linda of the Seventh-day Adventists who are lifelong vegetarians, that they don't get as much cancer, they don't have as much heart disease. It's not just because they're not smoking. Right. I think a lot of the benefits of that comes from the green leafy vegetables, um, the nitrates in that, as well as the other trace minerals and, and vitamins. The problem has always been that if you don't have the right bacteria, you can eat these foods all day long, but you're never going to get the nitric oxide benefit out of it if you don't have the right bacteria. Huh. So that's really... Kind of a, a that's, major. That's the next frontier in science. That's isn't the next it? frontier in science on how do we capture this whole microbiome revolution? Identify. We've identified the bacteria that are necessary and sufficient in the mouth, in the crypts of the tongue, that do this for us. And so we're trying to harness those bacteria. One re- lead to uh, rapid diagnostics to see if people are deficient in this, right. and then two give those bacteria again. If we give the human body the nutrients that it needs and the raw material it needs, it can heal itself. Now we're trying to figure out what do these specific bacteria need in order to repopulate, recolonize, not only outcompete the bad pathogenic oral bacteria, but to provide this essential, fundamental metabolic pathway to generate nitric oxide. So the goal is that one day we'll be able to, like, like right now, if, if you've got a uh, gut bacteria imbalance as a result of having taken antibiotics, for example, the, typically the most common cause, I would think, Um, you can take probiotics. This would be an an oral probiotic, presumably a rinse of some kind or something. You were telling me about a friend of yours who's making a spray for the skin. Yeah, you know, this whole hygiene hypothesis of of modern disease, when we, so the bacteria that live in and on our body outnumber our own human cells 10 to 1. And these bacteria aren't there to do us harm. In fact, they're there to do 
perform metabolic steps that humans can't do. So they're helpers called symbiosis. We discussed yeah. that this morning. Yeah. Uh, and you, if you eradicate all these bacteria, you're depriving the human body of these essential nutrients and metabolites that humans otherwise can't use. Yeah, there are, there are people now who are very serious about not washing their bodies with soap or definitely not using antibacterial soap at the very least. Um, and, uh, you know, just brush your teeth once a day kind of thing. These kind of things. So I think this whole notion of being germaphobes as a society has really done us an injustice because we we see you know epidemics of high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, yeah. and we're finding more and more as we learned about these bacteria that live in and on our body, they're absolutely essential. They're regulators. They're regulators, and so they live on our skin. They're ammonia oxidizing bacteria. They live in our mouth and our gut. Which means that they're not parasites. They're really symbiotes. They're they're symbio They're living with us. They're cooperating with us. Correct. It's it's amazing. Dr. Nathan Bryan, his uh, company is Neogenesis Labs. They they make the Super Beats product, the Neo Forty product. Um, our website for that is tom'sbeats.com. Just as an FYI. But uh, Dr. Bryan, great to have you with us. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Thanks My for pleasure. dropping by. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.